So much of what scientists do is actually incredibly boring. You know, Darwin spent eight years fundamentally sitting in front of a microscope dissecting barnacles. You know, put that in a movie. No car chases, you know, no action. How do you dramatize a life like that? And then how do you, in a sense, dramatize his ideas and, and the result of those, all that barnacle work? In order to unlock the key, if you like, to find a nuclear reactor that will drive a feature film drama, you have to unlock the human being behind the great figure. Mr. Darwin, sir. Yes. Either you are being disingenuous or you do not fully understand your own theory. Evidently, what is true of the barnacle is true of all creatures, even humans. Clearly, the Almighty can no longer claim to have authored every species in under a week. You've killed God, sir. I've been very surprised since we showed the film in Toronto last week, at the first public screening of the film, that it engendered this extraordinary amount of, of uh, controversy today. We are 150 years after publication to the hot potato. You know, the challenge for this uh, project was there's so much written about Darwin. He was such a communicator. He produced so much in the way of letters, books, um, not just his own uh, material, but the stuff that was written about him and the stuff that referred to his work. So really quite an unmanageable amount of stuff. What was wonderful about um, the biography Annie's Box uh, that Randall Keynes wrote and on which the film is based is that uh, uh, Randall managed to distill the essence of uh, Darwin's emotional life um, into uh, a fabulous biography. And uh, that became our compass. Do you really care? So little for your mortal soul. Do you not care that you may never pass through the gates of heaven and that you and I may be separated for all eternity? Well, of course I care. Of course I do. I think you're at war with God, Charles. It might not have been technically strictly accurate, but it was a great narrativization of Darwin's life. It was moving, compelling, and it made me realize how much harder it was in those days to lose your faith and to be an atheist or at least agnostic as opposed to falling in line with the rest of the community. And, you know, I'm very lucky that, we're very lucky that scientists such as Darwin were brave enough in those days to tell the truth and to put forward ideas which were unconventional and which didn't fall in line with uh, the ideas of the time and, and to challenge preconceptions and uh, everything that was assumed to be truth.